Hey there, fellow investors. Welcome back. So, grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's unpack the day's events together. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's stock market update and news. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell discussed interest rates, stating the FOMC isn't ready to lower them yet. He emphasized the need for more confidence in inflation trends before considering adjustments and highlighted associated risks. Inflation has eased, with the PCE price index at 2.4% and core reading at 2.8% lower than 2022. Long-term inflation expectations remain stable. Powell's comments influenced markets causing a rise in the U.S. dollar and Treasury yields and a brief S&P 500 dip before recovery. Market expectations shifted to anticipate one or two rate cuts in 2024, potentially starting in September. President Joe Biden will call on the U.S. Trade Representative to triple China's tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. Biden's proposal to raise the current 7.5% average rate comes as his administration has warned China about its trade practices. A senior administration official said Tuesday that the increased tariffs would protect jobs and not lead to higher inflation. The upcoming earnings season is expected to be a crucial period for businesses as they navigate the challenges posed by the current economic climate. Some big names like Bank of America and United Airlines reported earnings yesterday, while Taiwan Semiconductor, Netflix, D. R. Horton, American Express, and Procter & Gamble will report earnings later in the week. United Airlines shares surged over 13% after forecasting second-quarter earnings well above Wall Street estimates despite ongoing Boeing delivery delays. They anticipate earnings between $3.75 and $4.25 per share, exceeding analysts' expectations, and reiterated their full-year earnings projection of $9 to $11 per share. However, United reduced its expected aircraft deliveries for the year to 61 narrow-body planes from the initial expectation of 101 with contracts for up to 183 planes in 2024. Okay, let's review the charts, starting with the S&P 500 ETF chart. As you can see from the last episode, SPY broke through this red trend line and is now approaching a support level. There's a gap around $496 that could fill soon. From that level, we might see a bounce in the market. However, it's uncertain how much it could rise at this point. It may form an ABC pattern. I'll provide an update on the chart in the next episode, so stay tuned in. Now, Let's take a look at the NASDAQ chart. Similar to the S&P, NASDAQ has already begun its correction and is approaching the gap around 15,580. It could rebound from this level and then we'll need to monitor it closely for the next potential move. Now, let's turn our attention to the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. The Dow is currently trading near a support level, suggesting a potential bounce from this point. It may rise to around the 38,800 level, after which we'll need to observe whether it can surpass that level. All right, folks, let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. After reaching a new all-time high, BTC is facing headwinds. It's currently trading at a critical support level. If it breaks below this level, we could see a drop to around $52,000. It's worth noting that the halving date is April 19, 2024. I anticipate a correction in Bitcoin from post-halving until July, 
possibly extending into October. Okay, everyone, I wanted to take a moment to share some news with you. Today marks my last day hosting this program after one year. Starting from the next session, another talented individual will be taking over this program. While I'll miss being here with you, I'm excited for the fresh perspective and energy they'll bring to the table. Thank you once again for everything. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.